six years old, I told my father I want to become a doctor. And I had strong reason. So whenever he is ill, I treat him properly. He replied to me that he would need also good care, dignified pension, sufficient social services when he deals with public administrative agencies, with law enforcement and with government in general. I was left with thought that I need to become someone who will ensure protection of people in every situation of their life. Thus, my first lesson was that it's not fair when people are not treated properly in all aspects of their life. When I grew up, I found out for myself that this unfairness can be filled by justice that brings good education for poor people, sufficient public services, proper health care, fair trail for alleged perpetrators, freedom of thoughts and expression, and religion for everyone. I became human rights defender. In 2003, I joined to one of the local organizations in my own town in Armenia and was assigned to the staff of six people to work on human rights protection. I did not have any mental health issues, but I spent months visiting psychological hospitals in Armenia to ensure that people are getting proper health care and medications. I was never arrested, but spent our days in prison defending people and ensuring that due process is respected. I was in police stations preventing torture and inhuman treatment. I was in court with people who were criminally charged because of their dissent opinions. I stood by those who were brave enough to hold government accountable. My commitment to justice paid me back. In my 29 years, I was quite successful on human rights and had a good experience on justice. I had a relationship with promising future. In 2011, I nominated to study in the United States where I received my master's degree on leadership, human rights and rule of law. I was eager to make the world a better place to live. I learned my second lesson there, to build faith for my intentions and actions for justice and to have courage to establish it in reality. But life makes us to play. When I went back to Armenia, I was left without my work. My relationships were over. I didn't know what I would do with my life. But my desire for justice moved me forward. I started my own organization with young and enthusiastic staff and extended my vision for human rights. I learned my third lesson to turn challenges into opportunities for my ultimate idea for human rights and justice. The organization is strongly focused on human rights, rule of law and justice. During these past six years, I developed and managed the implementation of more than 15 projects on human rights. We provided free legal assistance to more than 800 people in the country. We worked on more than 60 strategic litigations on different human rights issues. We actively participated in elaboration of hum po human rights policy documents and organized advocacy campaigns at local and international level. This lesson that I learned from this experience was that to share my struggle for justice with others and guide them to take initiatives for human rights. Such kind of struggle further was approved by life. In 2018, in April, people stood against the corrupt regime in Armenia. During the three weeks intense protests, the corrupt regime was overturned by people's movement. We were actively participating in protests and providing free legal assistance to those who were detained because of their courage to participate in the movement. I spent two weeks with 16 hours a day in police stations. I assist those who were detained there and I learned my fifth lesson, to express love and compassion for those who demonstrate their courage 
to establish respect for human rights in a country. When I visit the police station to assist one of the leaders of uh, demonstrations, um, who was arrested third time during the sixth day, I looked at him and like, I said, why it could happen to you? The police officer there looked at me and said, poor girl, are you first time in the police station? I looked at him smiling and returned to him. No, this is my second week running in the police stations. Then I learned my sixth lesson. To act for human rights and justice with such a patient that it's happening for the first time. So you do not get used of violations and never give up. The main idea of the people's movement in Armenia was determined in one word, Duhov. This burned the spirit of revolution and people who were protesting. The word is not, is not possible to translate into any other language as one word. But I find that it easily combines all my lessons that I learned through my experience. I want to pass it over to those who take courage to stand for human rights and justice. Be fair, be courageous, be faithful, be loving and compassionate, be respectful, be passionate, just be Duhov to create and to be the change for human rights and justice in the world.